Hello everyone, this is Hackers That Help, and today we are going to be going over Hashcat. Now Hashcat is a hash decryptor brute forcing tool, and we are going to jump right in. So let's, uh, let's type in Hashcat-H for the help page. We're going to come up here and look at some of the arguments. So this first one that we're going to pay attention to, this one that we're going to use is a dash M for the hash type. And we're going to be using three hashes. We're going to hash three files, decrypt three hash files in this video, MD5, SHA-256, and SHA-512. And so that's going to be our hash type and when we come and we scroll down here here we are to the hash types that here are the hash modes and for MD5 it says 0 so after we put the argument dash M we will put a 0 next to it because for MD5 we will start off by cracking the MD5 hash so we will put dash M zero because md5 is a zero right here okay next is our attack mode when we scroll down here again to find our attack mode section right here attack modes we're going to use zero again which is a straight attack that's letters only or numbers only so and then in this next one we have combination that would be if the password was possibly letters and numbers so and then just straight brute force and etc so we're just going to use the straight mode just letters so after we type in dash a we're going to type in zero and then last one we got here I think that might be it yep that's it and uh, dash O for output to, so the output where we'll save the file so okay the first one we're gonna do is MD5 So we come over here, we type in hashcat dash m, and then after the m, remember what the md5 was, that is a zero. And then our attack mode, you remember the attack mode we're going to use, zero again, and dash cap lowercase o for the output of the file. So we're going to put, we are in the desktop directory right now as you can see right here so it's going to save it over here in the directory right here that the results the password that we get from decrypting the md5 hash that is what will be getting saved right there and right here next we have the name of the file we want to decrypt with the hash in it md5 we come over here open up md5 here is our md5 hash right here that we need to decrypt so we will do that now and then here's our rock you word list this is the location to the word list that I'm going to use of a uh, passwords to attempt to a brute force and since I am in the desktop directory, I didn't have to add any other directory spe specifications or anything like that. Like this. Because I'm in the directory of desktop and also 
rockyou.txt is in the same directory as the desktop so that works out okay now we are ready to crack this md5 hash now Let's see if it all goes through okay now it says all hashes found in pot file use dash dash show to display them so we'll do that again and now we have our file right here the md5 cracked and when we open that up we get our hash along with the cracked password so this has been hashcat with hackers that help thank you for watching have a good day Welcome to Hackers That Help. This is the Hashcat video and let's dive in. So we'll come over here and we will open our terminal. And apologies if you just finished the last video. Um, I meant to do the SHA-256 decryption, the hash decryption and the SHA-512 hash decryption. So we will go ahead and do that now. It's the same process as the MD5 except we're just doing uh, some hashes that are a little bit more advanced uh, just just a couple steps up so let's go ahead and get to it we will type in hashcat dash m for our mode and then we will type in zero because we're uh, no I'm sorry we and so for SHA-256 that is 1400 we will be typing 1400 here because if we look at this if we come up a little bit to the SHA-256 hash it's 1400 right there so we will be using 1400 for the mode in this case So, a little different. A for our attack mode, still zero. Slat, uh, dash, lowercase o for the output of the file, and we'll just call this 256. And then we have um, the name of the file we need to put to decrypt, so that is SHA-256. And then the word list we're going to use to crack it and then we can go ahead and type in show over here okay no hashes loaded SHA-256 oh I'm sorry I started a new terminal I need to change into the desktop directory now I am on the same page as all of these files now but inside of the directory the terminal here so if I type in ls for lists it lists the files SHA-512 SHA-512 SHA-256 SHA-256 okay so now we can do our we can complete our hash cat and it has completed if you want to see what that looks like without the show it'll go through and do it but we have our file with the password in it now so we'll go ahead and uh, double click that Two fifty six. okay we got our hash inside of here okay so it just went through to crack the password cracked so it got the password as you can see here the hash was cracked the SHA-256 so we will go ahead and open it and see here is the hash of the SHA-256 
as it is right here. The only difference is in this one that we just decrypted with the decryption is one, two, three, four, five, the password. So that is the SHA-256 decryption in the works right there. So now if we wanna switch the mode up to SHA-512, we'll do 1700 because if you go to the Hashcat help page and you go down to the modes, 1700 will be the symbol we use and the number that it has placed with the SHA-512 hash. So now we will change the name of the file we want to save it in. We will change this to 512 and we will go through the process. It says all hashes found in pot file use dash dash show to display them. So we will do that. Now it's saved our file right here. So if we open our original, this is the hash function of the hash at SHA-512 right here. So we can close that. That's the original. Here is the cracked version. We, we got the hash, the 512 SHA hash right here. And then afterwards we have the password. I love you. So this has been Hackers That Help with Hashcat decrypting SHA-256 and SHA-512 hashes. Thank you for watching and have a good day.